My name is Enrico Barone, I'm from Italy and I'm here in Nansana, Kampala, Uganda, as an EU8 volunteer through the Estonian NGO Mondo. I chose this position firstly because I, I really wanted to come to Africa finally. I think that everybody should come to Africa uh, in his or her 20s. I'm already 37, so it's a kind of late, but I do think that it should be done to see a different reality, a different environment, to, um, to feel it. Regarding the project, uh, uh, which is about resilience building, I was very interested and uh, fascinated by uh, and attracted by the possibility of, course, of put my skills, which are mostly about videography, photography and design, in practice in a totally new environment, in a challenging environment, and share those knowledge with the local cooperative or organization I'm working with. He's a guy who fits in very easily. You know, it got him so fast to master the life and the local context in Uganda. He knows what he's doing and uh, he has planned very well for the projects uh, that he has to offer his service into because uh, we were skeptical about the number. There are actually four projects and uh, he's here for not so much time, but uh, he has done uh, to his level best and uh, we're also surprised because of that performance. Two of the organizations are similar, Kampala Disabled Initiative or KDI and the one in Gulu, Up Country, are a disabled people tailoring group and with them we are trying uh, to find also like, new markets and my work is to provide visual materials which can be video, photography or design in order for them to be able to promote themselves and their products to gain new customers. When I was making the slippers, he was here when we, uh, I looked to him, he was just laughing. And <laughs> so, but in the video, what I liked, the way they, he editing it, it was nice. It was like, we, didn't, we are not the one who made them. For other organizations like KIFAD or Trust Future, I've been doing mostly documenting uh, successful stories, that means uh, stories of vulnerable, mostly vulnerable women, but also men or children that have been helped by these uh, two organizations. For me, it's also like to try to, to work on the tools that they have in order to achieve like perhaps best results. For example, when say now everybody for, in Europe, uh, everywhere takes picture with a smartphone, not all of them have access to a smartphone. For example, the group in Gulu doesn't even have a smartphone. So who has a smartphone here in Kampala never really used it to the max to, to promote uh, their own products. I mean, I provide them a material, but I'm also trying to uh, share with them those knowledge that they can use later on when I'm not, uh, when I'm not here. When they ask me how to describe a Kampala, the first thing that comes to my mind, I would say, is Kampala is a mess. But I like that mess. I was glad that uh, I could come to Kampala, to such a bigger city, because I do like bigger cities. I loved going on a bother, bother. For me, the ride is part of the work. I really enjoy and looking. I like to be uh, an observer of the outer life, so the Boda Boda drive with its movement is the perfect mean of moving. I found Uganda very inspiring because of the landscape, which is amazing and it's also pretty different. And yeah, of course it can be, how to say, a cliché, but Ugandan people are very photogenic. They, they come out very strongly, I think, in pictures, as it seems that they have been in front of a camera all the time. Yeah, it's an amazing place from that point of view, yeah. It's visual, it's more, very beautiful. Certainly this experience will stay with me for a long time and I'm sure that this experience will also help in the future in my professional and personal life. Woo! Oh.